Chapter 3 of Horror Henry's Monster Movie by Francesca Simon. Narrated by me. Chapter 3 Horrid Henry's Grump Card. I've been so good! shrieked Horrid Henry. Why can't I have a Grump Card? You have not been good, said Mum. You've been awful, said Dad. No, I haven't, said Henry. <sighs> Just today, you pinched Peter and called him names. You pushed him off the comfy black chair, you screamed, you wanted your sprouts, you... Aside from that, said Horrid Henry, I've been so good, I deserve a grump card. Henry, said Dad, you know we only give grump cards for exceptionally good behaviour. But I never get one, howled Henry. Mum and Dad looked at each other. And why do you think that is, said Mum. Because you're mean and unfair and are the worst parents in the world. <sighs> Screamed Horrid Henry. Whatever reason could that be? A grump card was a precious beyond gold and silver and rubies and diamonds. If mum and dad thought you'd behave totally brilliantly above and beyond the call of duty, they gave you a grump card. A grump card meant that you could erase any future punishment. A grump card was a glittering, golden, get-out-of-jail-free ticket. Horrid Henry had never had a grump card. Just think, if he had one, if Dad was in the middle of telling him off or banning him from the computer for a week, all Henry had to do was hand him the magic grump card. And just like magic, poof, the telling off would end and the punishment would be erased. And Henry would be back on the computer, sapping baddies. Grump card, legal tender. Horrid Henry longed for a grump card, but how could he ever get one? Even Peter, who always is perfect, has only seven. And he's never even used a single one. Well, the waste. What a total waste. Imagine what they could do if he had a grump card. He could scoff every sweet and biscuit in the house. He could forget about all his homework and watch telly instead. And best of all, if Dad tried to ban him from the computer or Mum shouted that he's lost his pocket money for a month, all Henry had to do was produce the, boat, was produce the magic card. What bliss, what heaven, what joy. But how could Henry get the grump card? How? How? Could he behave totally brilliantly above and beyond the call of duty? Nah. That's impossible. He once spent the whole day being perfect, and even then he ended up being sent to his room. So, how else to get the grump card? Steal one? Hmm. Tempting. Very tempting. He could sneak into Peter's room, snatch a grump card or two, then sneak out again. He could even substitute a fake grump card at the bottom, in case Peter noticed his stash was getting smaller. But then Peter would be sure to tell on him when Henry produced the golden ticket to freedom. And Mum and Dad would be so cross, they'd probably double his punishment or ban him from life. Or he could kidnap Fluff Puff, Peter's favourite plastic rabbit, and hold him for ransom. Yes. And then when Peter has ransomed him back, Henry could steal him again and again and again until all Peter's grunt cards were his. Yes, it's brilliant. Oh, he was a genius. Why has he never thought this before? Except, if Peter told on him, Henry had a horrible feeling that he would get into trouble. Big, big trouble that not even a grump card could get him out of. Time to think again. Could he swap something for one? Oh, what did Henry have that Peter wanted? Comics? No. Crisps? No. Killboy Rat CDs? No way. Henry sighed. Maybe he could buy one from Peter. 
Unfortunately, Horror Tent had never had any actual money. Whatever pitfall pocket money he's always seen to vanish through his fingers. Besides, who'd want to give that wormy worm a penny? Better yet, could Henry trick Peter into giving him one? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> they could play a game called Learn to Share. Henry could tell Peter to give him half his grump cards as Peter needed to learn to stop being such a selfish hog. Good work. There was a snuffling sound, like a pig rustling for truffles. And Perfect Peter stuck his head round the door. What are you doing, Henry? Asked Peter. The new business, worm, said Horrid Henry. Want to play with me? Said Peter. No, said Henry. Peter was always nagging Henry to play with him. But when Henry play, had played Robot and Mad Professor with him, for some reason, Peter had enjoyed giving Henry all his sweets and money and, and doing all Henry's chores for him. We could play checkers or Scrabble, said Peter. N-O spells no, said Henry. Now, get out of... Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. How much will you pay me? Pay you? Pay you to play with me? Yeah, said Henry. Hmm. How much? One pound a minute, said Henry. One pound a minute, said Peter. It's a good offer, Toad, said Henry. No, it isn't, said Peter. What, you think it should be two pounds a minute, said Henry. Okay, I'm going to tell on you, said Peter. Tell what, Worm? I just gave you a good deal. No one's forcing you. Perfect Peter paused. And I was right. Could just say no. Or, said Horrid Henry, you could pay me in grump cards. Grump cards, said Peter. After all, you do have tons that you can, you never need to use them, said Henry. You could spare one or two or four and never notice. And you'll read through your stash in no time. <laughs> it was true that he didn't really need his grump cards, thought Peter. And it would be nice to play with Henry. Okay, said Peter. I charge one grump card a minute. No, said Peter. Grump cards are valuable. Oh, Henry sighed. Tell you what. Because I'm such a nice brother. Oh, play your game of scrap. Scrab. Horrid Henry could barely bring himself to even say the word scrabble. For two grump cards. And a game of checkers. Two more. And a soft toy tea party, said Peter. Did anyone suffer as much as Henry? He sighed loudly. <sighs> okay said Henry. But it cost you three. Hard time he stared happily at his seven glorious grump cards. He done it. He's free to do anything he wanted. <laughs> He'd be the king. Forever? <sighs> Why wait? Hard time he skipped downstairs, went straight to the sweet jar and took a huge handful of sweets. Put those back, Henry, said Mum. You know, sweet day is Saturday. Don't care, said Henry. I want sweets now, and I'm having them now. Shoving this huge handful into his mouth. He reached into the jar for those, for, for more. Henry, screamed Mum. Put those back. That's it. No sweets for a week. Now go straight. Horrid Henry whipped out a grump card and handed it to Mum. Mum gasped. Her jaw dropped. What? 
when did you get a grump card? Got it because I was good. Mum stared at him. Dad must have given him one. Amazing. Henry strolled into the sitting room. Time for Terminator Gladiator! Dad was sitting on the sofa watching the boring news. Well, not for long. <laughs> Hurried Henry grabbed the clicker and switched channels. Hey, said Dad. He was watching. Tough, said Henry. I'm watching. I'm watching what I want to watch. Go, Gladiator! Henry squealed. Don't be horrid, Henry. I'm warning you. Horrid Henry stuck out his tongue at Dad. Buzz off, Baldy. Dad gasped. <gasps> That's it, Henry. No computer games for a week. Now go straight. Dad stared at the grump card, which Henry waved at him. <sighs> Henry. Grump card. Mum must have given him one. But how? When? <sighs> I'll just go off now and play on the computer, said Henry, smirking. <laughs> Tee -hee. The look on Dad's face, and what fun to play on the computer after he's been banned from it. That was, well, worth a grump card. After all, he had plenty. Hard Henry spat his sprouts onto the floor, but the grump card took care of the no TV for the rest of the day punishment. And then he flicked peas at Peter and nicked four of his chips. Well, that was worth a grump card, too, thought was Hard Henry. To get his mo pocket money back, bit of a shame that he had to give two grump cards to lift the ban on going to Ralph's sleepover. But hey, that's what grump cards were for, right? Henry, it's my turn to play on the computer, said Peter. Tough, said Hard Henry, zapping and blasting. I'm going to tell on you, said Peter. Go ahead, said Henry. See if I care. You're going to get in big, 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 big trouble, said Peter. Go away, wormy worm, toad, poop, peep, pants, popsicle, said Henry. You're annoying. Mom! And you just called me a wormy worm, toady pants, poops a girl, shrieked Peter. Henry, stop calling your brother names, said Mum. I didn't, shouted Henry. He did too, shouted Peter. Shut up, Ugface, snarled Henry. Mum, Henry just called me Ugface. That's it, said Mum. Henry, go to your room. No computer for it. Heard Henry hand out, handed out another grunt card. Henry, where did you get these? Said Mum. I was given them for being so good. Said Heard Henry. It wasn't a lie, because he had been good by playing with Peter, and Peter had given them to him. Perfect Peter burst into tears. Henry drank me. <laughs> Said Peter. Took my grum cards. Didn't. Did. You made a deal, you wibble faced nappy, shrieked Henry, and attacked. It was a bulldozer flattening a wriggling worm. <coughs> Screamed Peter. Oh, you horrid boy, said Mum. No pocket money for a week, no TV for a week, no computer for a week, no sweets for a week. Go to your room! Whoa. Grum card to the rescue. Thank goodness he saved one for emergencies. <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> huh? Hard time he felt frantically inside his pockets. He looked on the floor. Checked his pockets again. And again, there were no grump cards left. What did he done? Has he just blown all his grump cards in an hour? His precious, precious grump cards. The grump cards he'd never, ever get again. No!
that's the end of this chapter, folks. If you enjoyed, please do not forget to like and subscribe. And comment down below which book I should read after this one. See you guys in the next chapter. Bye-bye. <laughs>